BBC viewers were fuming last night after Friends star Matthew Perry wasn't included in the memoriam segment of the BAFTAs. Fans were left raging after the BAFTA tributes appeared to forget Friends star, Matthew Perry. During last night's BBC viewing of the awards, audiences were disappointed as Perry was missed off the list of remembered stars, which saw Hannah Waddingham give a touching rendition of Cindy Lauper's Time After Time. The tribute included appreciation to other lost icons like Jane Birkin, Glynis Johns, Carl Weathers, Julian Sands, Tom Wilkinson and Tina Turner. However, Perry, who sadly passed away on October 28 at his Los Angeles home, wasn't mentioned, which prompted fans to share their outrage online. In response to the criticism, BAFTA has now confirmed that Perry will receive his moment of honor during May's TV awards ceremony. One disgruntled fan questioned on Twitter. No Matthew Perry in the hashtag BAFT as memoriam? Feels a tad disrespectful. Did they just forget? Another wrote. Can't believe you omitted Matthew Perry from the in memoriam. Hashtag BAFTA. The organization's official account replied to a social media user wondering about Matthew Perry's absence from a certain segment, stating, Matthew Perry will be remembered in this year's TV awards ceremony. Kate Beckinsale, the stepdaughter of TV director Roy Battersby, has also publicly called for his honoring at the May ceremony, which BAFTA has confirmed. Los Angeles County Department of Medical Examiner ruled Matthew's death an accident due to acute ketamine effects. The medical examiner added, Contributing factors in Mr. Perry's death include drowning, coronary artery disease and the effects of buprenorphine, used to treat opioid use disorder. Matthew was found unconscious in his hot tub by his assistant, who tried to pull him out before calling for emergency services. He was declared dead at the scene. No illegal substances were found at the site, as stated in the coroner's report. Prior to his demise, Matthew had been sober for 19 months following a long battle with addiction, according to a medical report obtained by Express.co.uk. He was undergoing ketamine infusion therapy to help manage his addiction. The report said, at the high levels of ketamine found in his post-mortem blood specimens, the main lethal effects would be from both cardiovascular overstimulation and respiratory depression.